Why do I shoot film? Hi, I'm Billy. Welcome to Shutterlands, where I talk about my film photography. I'll give you five reasons why I like to shoot on film cameras. All right, let's get into it. My first reason is I like to keep it simple. There isn't too much I need to worry about. Once I pick the film that I want to shoot with, that determines my ISO. Then that's all I need to really worry about. This is the shutter speed, the aperture, and manually focusing. Like with my Pentax. This was one of the first cameras that I got. It's actually the second one because I broke the first one. But that's all I need to really worry about. Set the shutter speed change the aperture, and focus. Second reason is that all of this is manual. I really get to focus on how the camera functions, what I'm doing before I take a picture. It gives me full control over the image that I'm taking. I also feel that I actually have a part in taking the image. Like, if I mess it up, it's my fault. It's not because of autofocus or some sort of auto setting on a digital camera. The manual aspect of shooting cameras like this is just great. I, I love it. Um, you know, just being able to adjust every dial with your hands, nothing is going to change unless you change it. It just makes the shooting experience that much better, at least for me. Third reason is the film itself. You know, it's, it's a physical medium that I can touch and feel and look at. There's a whole process behind, you know, developing your film, scanning your film, editing it. And because of that, you kind of have to embrace the imperfections. You know, every film stock is going to be a little bit different. Every time you develop film, it's going to be different. No two rolls of film are going to come out exactly the same. So you kind of just have to Accept what you get. Do your best, but accept what you get. And the final reason is just a variety of cheap cameras. I get to try a bunch of different cameras. This is only three that I have in front of me here, but I have about 12 film cameras. And I've tried many different ones to see which ones I like. And that's the great thing about shooting film, is that these are all very cheap. I paid $80 for this one. I paid about $120 for this one. I paid $100 for this one. Um, comparing it to the a7 III that I own, which I paid like $3,000 for, I could buy a lot of cameras. I could try a lot of different ones. And by trying a lot of different cameras, I'm able to figure out what kind of camera do I like. Uh, for instance, this is my favorite camera. I've been, I just bought it this year, and I've been using it mainly as my primary camera. Before this camera, this was my favorite camera. I had a different version, I broke it. This is my second one. But for a year or two, this is mainly what I shot with, was the Pentax Spotmatic 2. Uh, I love this camera, it's lightweight, it's easy to use. So I kind of switch over to a rangefinder, and I never really used a rangefinder until I tried this Yushiko and it works great for street photography and so far I've had zero issues with it. When shooting medium format, this was the first camera I, I, I've owned. Uh, it's also a Yashica. Um, it's very simple to use. So shooting with all these different cameras kind of makes it a challenge and it's just fun to do, to go and take photos with different cameras at different times. All right, enough talking about these cameras and why I like film photography. Here's some images.
there you have it. These are some of the reasons why I like shooting on film. Tell me down in the comments. Do you like film photography? Have you even tried it? And don't forget to like and subscribe.